Okay, good afternoon, our viewers, our listeners, wherever you might be listening or watching us from. This is um, Daniel Missionary Radio. My name is Taiwo Owolabi. And today, on English language, we'll be talking about the English parts of speech. So there are eight parts of speech of the English language. So yes, we have the noun, the pronoun, adjective, adverb, verb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Meaning this is the basis of the English language. Any word you can find in English language belongs to either of these parts of speech. Okay, we start with the noun. Okay, you're welcome back. Like we said earlier on that there are eight parts of speech of the English language. I will mention them. So we start with the first one. Noun. A noun, popularly known, is the name of any person, animal, place, or things. It means it gives names to different ideas or things. What are you? Yes, as we have it here, simply put, a noun is a naming word. For example, All right, we've established the fact that it's a naming word. So it gives names to animals. For example, we have goats, pigs, lion, leopard, fish, etc. For persons, we have kule, boy, girl, Felix, and the likes. Place, we have Jordan, River, Lagos, Canada, Nigeria, etc. And for things to ideas, we have cup, Marker, spoon, faith, honesty, etc. Now, all right, let's talk about some types of nouns. We've gotten the meaning of noun, the examples. Now, today, let's move on to types. The first type I would like to talk about is the common noun.
Yes, the comma now, as underlined here, the nine, we underline the word general. The comma now is the general name given to a person, an animal, place, or thing. It means anywhere you might go to in the whole world, this is the actual name, this thing is called. For example, So I said, your common is the general name given to either animal, place, or things. For example, we have the river. River is known as the same thing all over the world, country, animal, utensils. But now let's talk about another type of noun. The proper noun. As opposed to the common noun, the proper noun is the specific name given to a person, animal, place, or thing. Underline the word specific, okay? Okay, so we are going to be comparing the examples of your common noun with examples of the proper noun to get a better understanding of the difference between the common and the proper nouns. So under common noun, the general name is river, but a specific name common to river is this. Say for example, we have River Jordan. River Jordan, River Benue. Because it is the specific name given to this type of river, it starts with a capital letter, as seen here. Here we have Nigeria, Togo, Cameroon. Meaning that the river Jordan is a specific name of this river. Benue is a specific name given to this river. Nigeria is referring to a specific country, Togo, Cameroon, and the likes. The lion is referring to a specific animal, the snake, and the goats. And here we have spoon, knives, and cups. All these are generally referred to as utensils. All these are generally referred to as animals. And these are referred to as a country and types of river. So generally, the difference between your common noun and your proper noun is that the common noun, it names a thing. A person on animal generally why your proper now is the specific name given to animal place people or things 
Uh, thank you. We'd like to go on a short break. We'll be back with you shortly. Hey. All right. Show sink. Ah, go. Show sink. Go, Ninja. All right, Mary. Lonnie, kill us, Ellie. Oh, oh. back in the ibo <laughs> 0807 265 Okay, this is where we'll stop on the lesson for today. Remember, we spoke about the noun, meaning, the types, and some examples. So, I'd like to give you this assignment. Okay, mention other types of nouns known to you and what is the difference between A, the common and proper nouns, B, abstract and concrete nouns. This is where we'll be running out today. Thank you for listening and watching. Again, my name is Taiwo Olabi.